we are reading verse 54, and then we go further on, on the second side. Sri Raghunath Das is embodiment of love and separation. So I would like to repeat the verse. O Devi, Goddess, while you are absorbed in an intimate joking discussion with your girlfriends headed by Lalita, I will make a beautiful play bed for you with my own hands. When will you decorate that bed by dreaming on it? Sri Raghunath Das is the embodiment of love in separation. Sri Raghunath Das, nobody has nobody in this world but Swamini. Oh, merciful Radhe, I'm drowning in an ocean of misery. Please show yourself just once and thus delight my eyes. <laughs> I repeat this sentence. O oh, merciful Radi, I'm drowning in an ocean of misery. Please show yourself just once and thus delight my eyes. The aspirant should also have some of this eagerness. Oswamini, I will not mix with this world. I will become as Swamini wants me to be. Then she will accept me. I think this isn't really intense verse. I will become as Swamini wants me to be. Then she will accept me. Because I think there is... May I say something? Yes. <laughs> there is really, really a trap. Because I want to do it in a right way. I want to do it with all my, my possibilities. I want to clean the ashram. I want to do, to organize nice meetings. I want to do correctly my treatments because of this, um, this eagerness to be a servant. But just by this, I'm falling in the trap because I'm the doer. And I don't, then I can't feel I will become as Swamini wants, as Swamini wants me to be. And I'm falling down on my knees. <laughs> what to do? Because of engagement, I'm in the trap. I need help. <laughs> so, where is the starting point? I want to be. Like my Radhika wants me to be. She has to model me. And 
where we can start this process of modeling. In close association with Guru. First person who has to model me is his divine personality. And for that, I had to go deep in his mood. Because the way how he is modeling is through the, his own emotions, which he receives from his guru, from his guru, up to the radical. So with full faith, I hope that one day I will put myself in front of his lotus feet and allow him to model me. <laughs> and if I'm think I'm doing just this, but really I doesn't I doesn't do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> How to to refine the, the attunement to be really at his lotus feet. Because I'm doing seva, you know. That's really a trap. <laughs> Seva mm -hmm. is the way, practical way, how he is trying to model us. Mm -hmm. So this is the reason why it said Seva Sadaka Rupena, Siddha Rupena. But in Sadaka or Siddha always is a Seva. <laughs> And that seva is something which help us, as sadhakas, to connect with this beautiful transcendental love. Because this transcendental love only can model our heart. And by modeling the heart, we will model our pure bhava deha. <coughs> Only through the heart, through the feelings, which we receive from someone who already has it. <coughs> so I also do my simple seva with similar consciousness like you said that I am a doer but not a viewer but the point of seva is that we correct ourselves to understand yes it is what I'm doing from my ego, this is upon us. And Seva gives us this opportunity to serve, but also to go deep and see what I'm doing, which kind of consciousness I have. Because if I don't have a Seva, so why should I think about <laughs> my mistakes, my good qualities, bad qualities? Why? But if I'm trying to do seva, seva, causeless serving, I have to feel and think very conscious way, in very conscious way. And this is my understanding that Gurudev is saying, do your homework. How can we 
do homework without seva. Seva is helping us to do homework. And helping us to model our heart according to Radhika's pleasure. I said something. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This, this is my struggling. <laughs> also. Just a question. Is it the right frame of mind to think Guru Mantri is doing the seva through me instead of I'm doing the seva? Yes. This is the only way how we can overcome this conception I'm doing. My Guru is doing through me. I don't know why he chose it. I'm very bad instrument, but somehow it's happening. So I, I'm surrendering to him. In that way, he is modeling me and offering me to Radhika. <laughs> Thrilling point. <laughs> um, so I would like to repeat this the sentences, yes? Sri Raghunath Das is the embodiment of love and separation. He has no body in this world Why? but Samini. <laughs> <laughs> Why? His embodiment of love is separation. <laughs> because he is embodiment of seva with love. And he always missing the seva. Seva rupaya is manjari bar. Seva Rupaya, embodiment of Seva. So he cannot live without doing anything for Radhika, for her pleasure. He cannot live. Even materialistic people, they cannot live without work. <laughs> No. Mystic people cannot live without work. So the devotees, loving devotees of Radhika, cannot live one second without being engaged. In this yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it said, he has nobody in this world but Swami. Nobody. Nothing and nobody. And this is the reason why he is embodiment of love in separation. So nice. <laughs> Sri Raghunath Das is the embodiment of love and separation. He has no body in this world but Swamini. O oh, merciful Radhe, I'm drowning in an ocean of misery. Please 
<coughs> show yourself just once and thus delight my eyes. The aspirant should also have some of this eagerness. Oswamini, I will not mix this word. I will become as Swamini wants me to be. Then she will accept me. The RRT is over so now. Uh, so there we yes, please. Yes. Because he has no body in this world except swimming. He wants that only Swamini model him. She doesn't want the Krishna model him or others. But Radhika. True? And how, and how to know when she is modeling me? Mm. How to know? Yes, how to, to how to get it? Qualities. Qualities are starting good qualities are starting to develop. Spiritual emotions are starting to develop. A spiritual attachment for Radhika starting slowly, slowly, step by step to develop. Because the heart is melting little by little. And pure love is coming in this pot, which we call heart. But honestly to say, I don't believe that anyone who has such kind of pure heart can say, Sorry, the uh, connection isn't. Okay. okay. Someone who is on that level of purity, he never look at himself. Oh, finally, I attain a goal. Oh, finally, I develop all these good qualities. I am very humble. I am very nice person. I am very compassionate. I overcome my ego. No, it doesn't go like this. So in one sense, person cannot see his advancement. So he needs association of devotees. And in another sense, this is going in his heart. He is changing. His heart is melting. What do you say, Gurudev? Read again. Yeah. Sri Raghunath Das, the embodiment of love and separation. He has no body in this world. But but, oh, but wait, wait. This is the point. <laughs> We are keeping our senses consciousness. We keep our mind consciousness. We are living in the senses. So where I am? If I live in my body, where I am? If I am not in my body, then where am I? In my, I am in this body, but I am not in here. Like you sleep, you not not leave. You are some different place. 
subconsciousness also you leave the body so when you don't leave in your body then where you are where ragnar das goswami is practicing what is the first line read it again shri ragnar das is the embodiment of love and separation yeah is that point so where he is living in love in separation or oh, his separation so where is the body in his spiritual body is living because there are two bodies one is soul body and one is material body material body i will live but my soul body i will not live. right don't say <laughs> may i may i ask you to yeah my question is when i'm i'm in seva for example i would like to organize a festival in this ashram then i'm getting in the trap because i'm doing seva with my full engagement with my full capacity with my full wanting that it will be fine and correct and nice and all these things but i'm getting in the trap of i'm doing it in the best way i'm not my body i'm a sub. so that's my my you want you want nice you want to make it nice yes the day you forget to make it nice it will be fine <laughs> <laughs> because you are doing yes it's a point Okay. <laughs> yes, that's a really a, a hard trap because because I'm engaged, you know, in seva. Okay. Ah, ah. This is also go working. Yes. In the seva, I need my name and fame. that not should be go there i do in selflessness yes yes clear <laughs> my mind yes let's see next time <laughs> i try my best <laughs> because of your blessings perhaps it will work only of your blessings only of mercy but mahaprabhu and rai ramananda talk in this talk he say that niskam seva sakam seva niskam is without the desire without it and when i desire it is the kind of one i need the return for that and my sadhak they have when i work it happens I calculate okay. in Saka. I need result for that, right? And in the spiritual body, you only feel in love or separation. With the nature of the spiritual body, clear. Clear to all of you. What is the material identification and what is the spiritual identification? Clear or not? You can explain this, please. You can talk this subject. Thank <laughs> you.
Um, yeah, we are so fortunate that Gurudev always um, <laughs> tries to help us that our mind understands what we have to do when he's modeling us. And, and Goranga Sundar said very beautifully that when Gurudev is helping us to come out from the material to the spiritual, then we also have to practice that. And one way of practicing is seva. As Guranga Sundar said, seva is our homework. And I feel in, in my own life through Guru's mercy, whenever he gives seva to me, it's also a test to check. Did I understand it? Did I understand his teachings? Did the modeling, is it working or not? And also for Guru, it becomes a test to see how much he's attached to the results, how much he's attached to his own ego. And I have to admit, um, for me, um, it's the best teaching through Seva with Guru Dev because I have so much ego and I sometimes even fight with Guru Dev over the Seva. And sometimes I tell him, Guru Dev, stop it. You don't know. I know better than you. And then I realize, oh my God, you know, it's... It's still I'm in the material because seva means to come out of this material education. Because when we are to serve Swamini, we cannot serve in our material identity. We have to serve her in our spiritual identity. That is body. Material identification is mentioned here, body. When you are in material body consciousness, you hear, then you calculate like this minus percent. And when you come to the spiritual identification, there is no calculation. Check. Yeah. You can check yourself. Or if I say, oh, now I'm tired. I did so much, Gurudev. Recognize me. I'm running around the whole day. But then again, I'm again looking at the result for myself. Because in our Manjari Swarup, non-stop, Gurudev is living that. If you look at Gurudev, one day of Gurudev, 24-7, is fully packed in Seva. And he's never attached to anything. He's only thinking how he can serve for Radha Mohan, how he can serve his Ramini. So we're very fortunate that he's actually giving us the opportunity to do Seva, because through Seva, we will grow more deeper in our connection to Radharani, to Guru Manjri, but also in our connection to our own spiritual identity. It's a really a very wonderful cleaning process. And so yes, it is. <laughs> sometimes I don't get any seva from Guru Dev. And I'm like, my God, why? You know, it's also uh, sometimes we feel like, oh, why he's not giving me this seva? I can do it good. It's also again, Gurudev is checking, always is checking us. Where is our consciousness? So I like the symbol that sometimes just to sit at the door and wait for Gurudev, please give me a drop of seva so I can improve myself and improve my, develop my spiritual identity more than my material. So as Goranga Sundar said, I love this. That seva becomes homework, what Gurudev gives actually to put in practice in seva. So, yeah, that's yeah, a small, small Thank thing. you really, very, Gurudev very much. So. This is really helpful yeah. for me. Thank you very, very much. I read further on. <coughs> Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Yeah. Sorry, connect, connection is very bad and some all background noise is very, very, um, this is um, like interrupting more. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. I, actually, we are now 50 people in this room. So it's a bit changing now from our side. We have to apologize, but we are more people here. So I think 
and the microphone is very sensitive to any uh, voices so kindly apologize we apologize for that we will try to keep the background a little lower thank you Yarati is over now. Please. Swamini is surrounded by her girlfriends sitting on a jeweled studded sofa. She makes jokes with her girlfriends, but these are not ordinary jokes. It is a very funny conversation. While Shrimati is absorbed in such a joking discussion, Shyamala Saki comes before her with a new Saki. Seeing her, Shrimati asks, Saki Shyamali, come, come. Who is that girl with you? Shyamala says, this is my friend Navina Saki. She hasn't met you yet, but she is very eager to meet you. Swamini is enchanted when she sees Navina Saki and stares at her in astonishment, saying, Aha! You are so beautiful. If you are Shyamala's friend, then you are also my friend. What is your name? And where do you live? Navina Saki says, My name is Navina, and I have come here with my friend Shyamala to see you. From Shyamala, I have heard about your matchless form and attributes. So I became very eager to meet you. Swamini's heart melts when she hears Navina's nice voice. And Swamini says, do you know how to sing, to dance, and play musical instruments? Navina says, a little bit. Swamini takes Navina close to herself while she exclaims, aha, how beautiful your face is. How sweet is your smile. And how sweet are your words. Come here. Come here. It is just like I have seen you somewhere before. Then... Navina Saki begins to dance and sing. Aha! How wonderful is her dance! How sweetly she sings and how nicely she moves her eyes and her hands. The Saki's faint of ecstasy when they see it. Again and again, Swamini says, Bravo, well done, and gives Navina a tight hug. But while she embraces Navina, she feels a familiar shivering over her own body. And that makes her doubt. Who is this? Swamini then 
pulls the veil from Navina's head and exclaims, Oh Ma, what is this? This is Krishna. Shyamale, you are so naughty. Shyama and the Sarkis have so much fun then. The Sarkis roll against each other of laughter. What a wonderful fun they have. After Shyama has gone home, Tulsi prepares a bed for Swamini to lie on. Although all kinds of funny discussions are going on, Tulsi does not forget her service. Devotion consists of service. Devotional service is relishable in all three stages, in sadhana bhakti, in bhava bhakti, and in prema bhakti. Compared to that savour, everything in this world is tasteless, including. So, so David, can you read again? Yes, please. Oh. From from when on? Just the last sentence. Sadhana bhakti. Yes. After Shyam has gone home, Tulsi prepares a bed for Swamini to lie on. Although all kinds of funny discussions are going yeah. on, Tulsi does not uh, forget yes. her service. Devotion consists of service. It will be mixed. Devotional service is relishable in all three stages. In Sadhana Bhakti, in Bhava Bhakti, and devotional service is relishable in Prema Bhakti. Compared to that Savur, Everything in this world is tasteless, including sense gratification, bhukti, and liberation will be tasteless, mukti. There will be nothing left to want and to get from the material world. I just want to fall at your lotus feet, stay with them, and serve them. The kinkeries are the embodiments of the flavors of devotional service. Shri Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead, but he wants something from these maidservants. The Lord of the universe stretches his hand out to them. There's nothing as glorious and fortunate as this. Srila Rupa Goswami said, Yes, please. Can you hear me? Yes. Because it was a long break in internet. Okay. And Jeff, yeah, Gurudev wants that, that you read, or maybe I read Gurudev here, what to do. We should read it you again. Read. It's, it's so beautiful. Perhaps uh, first to Leela and, and to then to Lassie's service. Yeah. From devotional series? No, no Lila yeah. also. Oh, also the okay. Lila. It's so nice. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
So may I? Yeah. Yes, okay. While Srimati is absorbed in such a joking discussion with her sakis, Shyamala Saki comes before her with a new Saki. Seeing her, Srimati asks, Saki, Shyamali, come, come. Who is that girl with you? Shyamala says, this is my friend Navina Saki. She hasn't met you yet, but she's very eager to meet you. Swamini is enchanted when she sees Navina Saki and stares at her in astonishment, saying, Aha, you are so beautiful. If you are Shyamala's friend, then you are also my friend. What is your name? And where do you live? Navina Saki says, My name is Navina, and I have come here with my friend Shyamala to see you. From Shyamala, I have heard about your matchless form and attributes. So I became very eager to meet you. Swamini's heart melts when she hears Navina's nice voice. And she says, do you know how to sing, to dance, and play musical instruments? Navina says, a little bit. Swamini takes Navina close to herself while she exclaims, Aha, how beautiful your face is. How sweet is your smile. And how sweet are your words. Come here, come here. It is just like I have seen you somewhere before. Then Navina Saki begins to dance and sing. Aha, how wonderful is her dance. How sweetly she sings and how nicely she moves her eyes and hands. The Sakis faint of ecstasy when they see it. Again and again, Swamini says, Bravo, well done. And gives Navina a tight hug. But while she embraces Navina, she feels a familiar shivering over her own body. And that makes her doubt. Who is this? Swamini then pulls the whale from Navina's head and exclaims, Oh Ma, what is this? This is Krishna, Shyamali. You are so naughty. Shyama and the Sakis have so much fun then. The Sakis roll against each other of laughter. What a wonderful fun they have. After Shyama has gone home, Tulsi prepares a bed for Swamini to lie on. Although all kinds of funny discussions are going on, Tulsi does not forget her service. Devotion consists of service. Devotional service is relishable in all three stages, in Sadhana Bhakti, in Bhava Bhakti, and in Prema Bhakti. Compared to that Savur, everything in this world is tasteless, including sense gratification, bhakti and liberation, mukti. There will be nothing left to want and to get from 
the material world. I just want to fall at your lotus feet, stay with them and serve them. The kinkeries are the embodiments of the flavors of devotional service. Shri Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead, but he wants something from these maidservants. The Lord of the universe stretches his hand out to them. There's nothing as glorious and fortunate as this. I can't hear anything. Sorry, I can't hear anything. What's about the connection? Nothing? No connection. What? Oh, yes. I don't know. So different place, different circumstances. You imagine if you live in New York City, you are different. And if you live in a you are different. You cannot be a word. Why you think like that? This is wrong. So spiritual life goes two things. One is the material identification with my senses, with my ego, with my lust. Not me. And don't taste to this. It will never leave his habit. It's not changing. Why you bother for this? Seva, do the service that lust will become low to you. And ego can cool down. This is for this seva. To cooling down your false ego is, is using the seva free. But in not yours, your lust will be high. And if you not do in the mood of seva, then your ego will high. Check. If you want to develop ego, I this is my work. Ego will hide. And when you do in Seva Bhav, your ego will, will cool down. Work like a person that is to go become high. Right? <coughs> you see that? Any chair can make you ego high. <laughs> when RCC went to see,
Maybe we should just read the, the verse, or what do you think? Uh, was it to understand um, this, this nice Leela? I think we all could hear you, only in Vrindavan they couldn't hear you. Okay. Maybe it's helpful when we switch off our videos all together. We can try it. So, Devi, yes, could you slowly repeat this, Lila? We can relish while they are figuring yes, out the internet it's connection. so nice. I like it. Yes. Yes. We can just listen and meditate. Yes. The Arati is over now. I don't know, in group or in personal, I'm Swamini is surrounded by her girlfriends. Sitting on a jewel-studded sofa, she makes jokes with her girlfriends, but these are not ordinary jokes. It is a very funny conversation. While Srimati is absorbed in such a joking discussion, Shyamala Saki comes before her with a new Saki. Seeing her, Srimati asks, Sak Shyamali, come, come, who is that girl with you? Shyamala says, this is my friend Navina Saki. She hasn't met you yet, but she is very eager to meet you. Swamini is enchanted when she sees Navina Saki and stares at her in astonishment, saying, Aha, you're so beautiful. If you are Shyamala's friend, then you are also my friend. What is your name? And where do you live? Navina Saki says, My name is Navina. And I have come here with my friend Shyamala to see you. From Shyamala, I have heard about your matchless form and attributes. So I became very eager to meet you. Swamini's heart melts when she hears Navina's nice voice. And she says, do you know how to sing? to dance and play musical instruments? Navina says, a little bit. Swamini takes Navina close to herself while she exclaims, Aha! How beautiful your face is! How sweet is your smile! And how sweet are your words! Come here! Come here. It is just like I have seen you somewhere before. Then Navina Saki begins to dance, to sing. Aha! 
How wonderful is her dance? How sweetly she sings? And how nicely she moves her eyes and her hands? Sasaki's faint of ecstasy when they see it. Again and again, Swamini says, Bravo, well done. And gives Navina a tight hug. But while she embraces Navina, she feels a familiar shivering over her own body. And that makes her doubt. Who is this? Swamini then pulls a veil from Navina's head and exclaims, Oh Ma, what is this? This is Krishna. Shyamale, you are so naughty. Shyama and Sasakis have so much fun then. Sasakis roll against each other of laughter. What a wonderful fun they had. After Shyama has gone home, Tulsi prepares a bed for Swamini to lie on. Although all kinds of funny discussions are going on, Tulsi does not forget her service. Devotion consists of service. Devotional service is relishable in all the three stages. In Sadhana Bhakti, in Bhava Bhakti and in Prema Bhakti. Compared to that Savur, Geschmack, everything in this world is tasteless, including sense gratification and liberation. There will be nothing left to want and to get from the material world. I just want to fall at your lotus feet, stay with your lotus feet, and serve your lotus feet. The kinkeries are the embodiments of the flavors of devotional service. Shri Krishna is a supreme personality of Godhead, but he wants something from these maidservants. The Lord of the universe stretches his hand out to them. There is nothing as glorious and fortunate as this. Okay. <clears throat> Vielleicht sollen wir darüber ins Gespräch kommen. Aber diese Verspieltheit, dass sie so wirklich sich in den Armen liegen und außer sich sind vor Lachen, dass sie sich auf den Boden rollen, vor Lachen. Weil sie Swamini einen Streich gespielt haben. Und Krishna verkleidet, wo Swamini tritt. Und für sie singt und tanzt. Willst du das nochmal in Englisch sagen? Ah, Oder was? Sorry. Entschuldigung. Okay. Yes. Um, weil, weil der Kanai, der übersetzt auch in Deutsch. Also. Ich, ich dachte, es sei jetzt nur noch Deutsch, die Worte hier mit auf der Strippe. Okay. Um, I think this is Warte mal ganz kurz, der Kanai yes. ist gerade gekommen. Was wolltest du sagen? Kanai. Ja. Ach so. So, Radirade, yes. Sandra Pranam, 
I would also like to share something in this verse. What came to me? Okay. Um, that was the point in the Lila that the Sakis uh, were making so much fun of Radhika. They made the they made a like a trap for her. They uh, decorated a prank. Yeah, they decorated Krishna. And they all started to laugh at her, so she must have felt like embarrassed and like this. But the Manjari, she doesn't um, go to uh, make fun of Radhika, so she is uh, not forgetting to serve the Radhika and stays focused on her service to Radhika and prepares a bed for her to rest and uh, relax <laughs> and not um, go in this choking and laughter mood mocking. or mocking to Radhika. That's and, then, and, and in the last uh, sentence, it's very nice uh, written that the Manjaris, they are the servants. And Krishna is reaching out his hand uh, for them means not that he will uh, take you he wants to take them somewhere but he is begging something from them yes he is trying to please give me something of that uh, re uh, relish that you also experience no? such a nice um, meditation and I uh, wanted to share with you. It's very, very, very nice verse. Thank you for reading it so many times. Yeah. <laughs> it really is so mercy. Really that nice. they we'll do it on them. and on and on. So <laughs> we can. <laughs> can, can. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the best <laughs> yeah. But I also, I, I like, can I, that I hope. Tulsi Manjari is also laughing, but although she is laughing, she doesn't forget her service because laughter is is um, wie heißt denn das? Ist eine göttliche Eigenschaft. Is an attribute of being connected. This, this playfulness. Also there. And uh, they sometimes I read from Vilap Kusumanjali that the Manjaris are giggling when yes. something like this happens. Giggling. So they are they are also they like this situation. They yes. like to watch what is happening. So they giggle, but they're still always in Seva. And uh, in one verse, I don't remember which one exactly, it is also written that um, Tulsi Manjari is so proud when after giggling, Radharani got angry at her and gave her a hit on the forehead with her leg. Yes. And she got, uh, she got this uh, marks from the foot leg of Radharani, of the lotus feet of Radharani on her forehead and she was so proud after that that I am the marked maidservant of Radharani wow. so everybody in the world should see that she loves me so much that she even becomes angry at me and marks me so <laughs> now I'm proudly walking around showing to everyone that I am her maidservant that was also very inspiring for me because like you said at the beginning, often we don't know what we're doing or how to do selfless service. We're just doing something and always falling back into the false ego and thinking that we are the doer. And then when we are fortunate, Guru, they will become angry at us. <laughs> And he will hammer us. And that is also mercy. That is the biggest mercy. If Gurudev becomes angry, then he can 
model us and we can be proud that we are the marked servants of Gurudev. Yes, it's a nice meditation you gave. <laughs> we are marked. <laughs> But Gora Chandra is also here. Maybe he wants to share something. Можно вопрос? Ладно. Thank you for inviting me, Kishori. But I have nothing to add. Mm -hmm. so relishing, but I'm a little disturbed also that connection coming, going, and this and that. Yeah. What came to you? Can... Also, a really intense servant, Guru Chandra. So I think you have a lot of experiences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But what imagine, we me? can imagine that, sorry, sorry. When I was listening how Radharani is watching the beauty of Shamali, and oh, how sweet you are, what a beautiful face you have, how beautiful your dancing is. Like, when Radharani watching a new Dasi doing the service, and she appreciates her beauty because she thinks, oh, when Krishna sees her, he will be very happy. She's thinking this Manjari, this Dasi, will give a lot of happiness to my Krishna. So Radharani is always in the mood of sharing her relationship with Krishna, she wants to share that loving feeling with all her friends, with Manjaris. Everybody should come and be part of this festival of love. She has no envy of anyone. And she's not thinking for herself, oh, the Stasi is so beautiful. No, she thinks, wow, she will give a lot of happiness to Krishna. So that Thank you. came to me. Wow. <laughs> and uh, uh. Можно спросить? Это Сундар Гапал. Radhe Radhe Kopinat also wrote into the chat. Chaudhary, that his name is Sundar Gapal. He wants to ask a question. Is it possible? Oh. Can you bring an example of how Mahabrabhu experienced not Radha Bhava, but Manjari Bhava? So not us, but Shriyam. Is it possible to give an example of how Mahabrabhu is experienced Manjari not Radha Maybe some can share. Yesterday we discussed this in group, but we not found it. <laughs> Yes, I can share something. So, Chaitanya Charim Tamrita, I don't know exactly where, but there's a description of Mahaprabhu when he went into the Leela and he was unconscious and the devotees start Kirtan and he came back to consciousness. And then he is describing what he was watching. And he said that I was there 
I was standing on Radha Kund and I could see how Krishna was playing with Radharani and the gopis in the water. <laughs> so this is the description that his perspective, his vision was in Manjari Bhav. He was watching that. And of course, when Radharani told him that, please, after you destroy my outfit and my makeup, and now my friends will come soon, please dress me up again, make everything proper. When my friends are coming, they will make jokes of me, they will laughing, so please do it. And Krishna start painting Radharani's lotus feet. But he is so in ecstasy that he starts shivering and the manjari is pushing him away and say, you cannot do it. We have to do it. Then he is watching the manjari doing the service to Radharani's lotus feet and he is thinking, wow, I cannot do what the manjaris are doing. So I also want to serve Radharani in the way the manjaris are doing that. But I'm not qualified. So he has that desire also to serve Radharani. And that means manjari bhav, no? He wants to serve her like the manjaris are doing. Спасибо большое, Прабуджи. Да, это как раз Лила, когда Махапрабху был в Гамбире. Я просто как раз хотел и себя проверить, и, может быть, какие-то действительно подтверждающие вот слова услышать. Thanks, это на берегу Тихого океана было. Uh, I, I had desire to receive some evidence about your game, what I thought. Yeah, Rade, can I also share something? Да, потому что это как бы очень важная тема, потому что мы же говорим то, что Махапрабху при принес именно Манжари Бхау. Да? Одно из его как бы э, достоянием, да, то, что он принес именно то, что никогда не давало раньше. На то же Валараса с Фабакти Шарьям. И вот как раз подтверждающие примеров, конечно, чем больше, тем лучше. Спасибо большое. One the answer on this question. Um, it's written by Swarupa Damadar what Rupa Goswami not different from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, Swarupa Damadar telling to Rupa Goswami. Uh, Mahaprabhu is asking how it's possible what this young Rupa can understand my heart. And Sarupa Damadar is answered because he is your Rupa. Then Shogulev explained to us in Siddhabaku, his word was filled so much with deep meaning. This means he's your uh, Rupa Gasami is your Rupa, means your expansion. And also it means now you in mood of Radha and he is your Rupa, Rupa Manjari. He knows your heart. And this desire to distribute Manjari Bhava was fulfilled by Rupa Goswami, desire of Mahaprabhu. I heard one nice Harikatha. Um, 
Krishna is telling in Bhagavad Gita uh, what he will respond to everyone according to their desire. If someone wants to see him as impersonal, he will be for them Brahman. If someone wants him as a Takshi, he will be for them Paramatma. And if someone wants to be with him as a person, he will be Bhagavan. But what about Gopi? Krishna thought, I couldn't answer you in the same way. Because your love is um, a kanishtha, only one object of your love, only I am, no, nobody else. You not divide your heart for others, only for me, but my heart for all. Even if Bhakti coming to the level of Sharnagati, I'm answering his, on his prayers. By this reason, I couldn't answer to you all. Even I will get life, same as the Brahm of Brahma. But the, the, still desire in his heart to answer. And what he did, he, he is coming as Mahaprabhu in the mood of Srimati Radhika. With this um, Parshadas means Sakis, Manjaris, and uh, through them, through them, he is recruiting new Manjaris who will be completely a Kanishta, a Kantika of Srimati Radhika. It is his answer, Krishna's answer. What I had desired to add. Спасибо большое. Not understand anything. Connection. А можно я этим хорошо на русском еще вот то же самое скажете? Перевод был, но не очень хороший. В том плане то, что заглушался звук. Если можно. Ага, все, понял, извините. Хорошо. Просто очень да, сокровенные вещи такие. Угу. Да, простите. Конечно, конечно, конечно. Rade, Rade. So Gopinath wrote that they will not be able to connect again. So we can. I think it, it was a really an intense meeting, and <laughs> I <laughs> I'm full of thanks and reverence. So could close it. It was very tense.